Okay, so in this demonstration, what we're going to show is the infamous labeling activity where the students have to take unmarked magnets and try to figure out which is the North Pole and which is the South Pole without using a pre-labeled magnet. And it is really hard, so we're going to try to be as clear in our demonstration as possible. The first thing we're going to go over is the three rules for magnets. Obviously, there are more rules for magnets, but we're only going to teach the kids three for our unit. So here's my nifty board. I'm going to go over the rules for you. Number one, all magnets have a North Pole and a South Pole. All magnets do. Even if you take a magnet and you cut it in half, it will still have a North Pole and a South Pole. Rule number two, like sides repel. Um, and we should go over with the students that repel means to push apart. And one way you could say that is north repels north and south repels south. So if you stick two north poles of a magnet together, they're actually not going to stick together. You will feel the forces pushing them apart. So again, north repels north, south repels south. The third rule is that unlike sides attract, um, and you should go over with the students that to attract means to stick together, at least when you're talking about magnets. So north attracts south, you can also say it as south attracts north, or the easiest way to say it is opposites attract. That's an easy way for them to remember the rule, okay? So let's go back to our magnets. And again, we are trying to use the magnets in this demo that we sent to you guys in the field. So some of you only have ring magnets, but some of you have a mixture of bar magnets and ring magnets. So I will demonstrate with both types so you can see how it works. Um, what the students are gonna get are, I'll do the ring magnets first, a pair of magnets, and they should be unlabeled. You can see here that these were pre-labeled, and so we had to black them out with Sharpie so you couldn't tell what was north and what was south. Um, you could do the same for your students. If you um, have some of them, I know we have to have some of them labeled as master magnets. So if you have to use one of those, just black it out. Or you could use nail polish remover to get rid of the Sharpie markings. Okay. No matter what, just make sure that when the students get them, they can't tell which side is north and which is south. So here we have it. And they don't have anything to go on except the three rules that you just taught them. So they have to play with the magnets and figure it out. So if we know that like sides repel or push apart, we could test it. Just so happens that these two sides are pushing apart. You can't see it, obviously, the, the repelling forces, but they don't want to stick together. So I know then that these sides are like sides. And the students have stickers. Okay, you should give them these little stickers. And I just cut them in half. And so they can label the like sides. So again, these two sides are the same. Whatever their poles are, are the same. And again, when they try to stick them together, they will not stick. And then they can flip one side over. So you have um, a stickered side and a non-stickered side. And because they are not like sides or their opposite sides, they should attract. And they do, so they stick. Okay. So again, these two unlike sides will attract or stick together. So now what they have are these two ring magnets and they've labeled the like sides with a red sticker, but they still don't know which side is north and which side is south. So this is another handy thing that they should know about magnets. We should probably call it rule number four. And that is that the north pole of a magnet will be attracted to the north pole of the earth. And so what you're going to need to know um, using a compass is where north is and where south is. And I did this ahead of time with my handy compass on my phone. And I figured out that this is north. And this direction is south. So again, I had to use a compass app on my iPhone, or you could actually use a real compass to figure out which side is north and which is south. But um, you have to somehow label it for the students in the classroom so they know which way is pointing north and which way is pointing south, because they're gonna need it to test out or to figure out which side is north and which is south. 
and this is how they do it. They're going to take their two magnets and they're going to, oops, stick them together. So you're going to stick the two unlike sides together. And they're going to tie them on a string so that they could dangle them. Because, again, the rule, and we should call it rule number four, um, is that the north pole of a magnet, also called the north seeking pole of a magnet, will always point north, as in the north pole of Earth. And so the way that you could test it is dangle the magnets um, on a string. And let's dangle it this way and see which direction the po they point. Whichever side ends up pointing that way is the north pole of the magnet. Whichever side ends up pointing this way is the south pole of the magnet. Okay, so it seems like the unstickered side is south and the stickered side is north, but let's test it again before we actually write on our sticker. And again, um, I'll just point the stickered side this way and see if it writes itself. And you can't see my hand at this point, but I'm not twisting the string at all. I'm holding it still. And again, the north side is pointing north. And let's dangle it again. Let's twist it. Let's have it so the sticker side sticks this way and see what happens. And again, it's just spinning itself. I'm not twisting the string at all. Okay, so again, the stickered side is putting that way, so we think it's north. So we can then label the sticker north, and we'll untie it. Whoops. We'll label them both north now. And once the students have done these two steps, they can tape it up to you, the PL, and they can test their labels against your master magnet. So all the PLs should have a master magnet that's pre-labeled. Okay, so here's the north side, here's the south side. I'll take one of their labeled stickers and I'll say, okay, um, opposites attract, so this is my master magnet, it's labeled south here. It should stick to your north side, and it does. And just as a second test, I'll flip to my north side and see if it sticks to your north side, and it doesn't. It's repelling, okay? So the students were correct. They were able to label the north side correctly. Now, here's the catch. Some of your students will have to use the bar magnets that we sent you, which should not be a big deal, but it actually is because of where the north and south poles land on these particular magnets. When you look at magnet lesson plans online, more often than not, you'll see that the north poles are on these little ends. So for example, here will be the north pole and this will be the south pole. Um, that's not how our magnets work. The north poles are actually here. So um, again, the north and south poles are actually on these long sides, which makes it a little bit harder for the students to figure out. But now that you know that, you could help them with it as you circulate around the room. So again, the poles on these bar magnets are in the center on the long sides. They're not at the ends. So knowing that, they have to hold these. And again, they're strong, so tell them to be careful. These two sides are repelling. What? So scary. Okay. So they're repelling quite strongly. Oh. So, okay. So those, <laughs> these two sides are clearly opposite sides or unlike sides. So I'm going to label this. Oops. So I've labeled that one side, which means that, oop, ah, they're really strong. So since these two sides stuck together and I labeled this side with a sticker, I'm going to leave this side blank and label this side with the other sticker.
Okay. So now I have these two light sides. We can test it. Will they stick together? No, and you can't see it, but they are repelling strongly. So as much as I'm pushing them together, they will not go together. They're actually pushing apart. So I have these two sides as the light sides. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the ring magnets. Again, I used a compass before and I figured out that this is actually north. This way is south in terms of the earth and how we're situated in this room. So let's stick these together like this. We're gonna have to use another piece of string and we're gonna tie it just like we do with the ring magnets. And try to center it as much as you can. students with this bar a little bit and when you dangle it they should, should balance as much as you can okay again I'm not twisting the string whatsoever I'm just letting it dangle the movement is being caused by the magnetic forces and we're gonna see which side ends up facing north and which side ends up facing south with the bar magnets again it happens a little more quickly than with the ring magnets and it's pretty clear that the sticker side this time is facing south okay and you could test it again you could actually make it face the other way and see if it'll spin itself around okay and it happened really quickly so again this time the sticker side that we chose happens to be facing south so let's we'll label it We'll do another test. Let's put it this way. And again, I am not twisting the string whatsoever. I'm just letting it go. It's moving of its own accord, which is kind of cool that it's just spinning by itself. And when you're circulating, make sure that the kids are holding this string still so it's just the magnets that are moving. And again, the stickered side is facing south. So I'm pretty sure at this point that I labeled it correctly. So I'll take that off. Oh, these are strong, you wanna slide them. And so my two like sides, I think, are south sides. And again, the student's gonna come up to you and say, all right, we think we labeled them correctly. Can we test them with your master magnets? And you will come with your master magnet that's been pre-labeled north and south, and you'll do the test for them. Oh, they're so strong. Okay, so here's your south, which means here's my north side. It should stick to the student's south side of their magnet, and yes, it does stick. I can test again by saying, okay, here's the south side or the south pole of my master magnet. Will it stick to the south side? No, because like sides repel. And you can flip to this other side, which they haven't labeled, but since this is south, this has to be north. Will it stick to your south side? Yes, it will. Okay, so they labeled the bar magnet correctly. And again, it is not easy, um, but it can be done. Just make sure that uh, you brought in a compass, whether it's the compass on your iPhone and you have a compass with you, and that you figure out where north is in your classroom and where south is so that you can have it uh, pre-labeled somewhere in the classroom so the students know how to do the second part of the test. Okay, and that's it. It's very hard. You'll have to try it yourself a couple of times, but it can be done.